Here we are guys, hole number seven. We got Virgil Herring in the house. Mentor, sensei, I'm the Padawan in this scenario. I know you guys look to me for my intelligence, but what I have gleaned is gleaned from him. And so, you know, that's where I can thank you for that credit. Cool. Hopefully you're keeping tabs of all the videos we've done so far. We've had an awesome three hole match. We just kind of talked about some stuff, played a few holes, had yep. a little fun. And then we had an awesome bunker tip, how to find the fairway kind of tip. And now, Verge, I can't think of a worse scenario for a 20 handicap yeah. than into the wind, water gets more watery as you high ride it. Yeah. And yeah, so go. How do you help the 20 handicap? Well, the first thing we got to know is, is like, what, what is the carry for all parts of the, of the surface here, right? Right. And then here's where predictability of curve and distance is really important. If you don't know how far you hit it, you're in big trouble here yeah. because you know you're probably going to make a more nervous swing. You also know that there's a penalty involved if you hit a bad shot, so that increases the anxiety. So what I'm going to be telling you is, is that most people, most right-handed players slice the golf ball. Most left-handed players slice, slice the golf ball. As you're going to aim left, now the good news about aiming left and it goes straight is that's the shortest carry over the water. Right. All right. The only trouble that we have long is a bunker. Right. Right. So if we can navigate the carry of the wall and not get it in the bunker, we have a lot of room past it. Absolutely. The most important part here is to take away as much concern as you can with your club and shot selection. So we're 164 to the hole. The wind is into us and it's kind of blowing Pull that way. this way. Yeah. You know, basically two o'clock to eight o'clock if you're called 12 o'clock your target. And now we're just trying to figure out like what is the yardage, what is the shot that we want to play, and then commit to the shot. That's a big word. Most of the mistakes that are made in golf are from lack of commitment, not from anything else. It's really humbling. So it, it so like in our bunker video, we talked about kind of like long and easy to control spin. Is this mm -hmm. kind of a scenario again with the wind in the face? Spin's obviously going to be an issue. Yeah. How are you reducing the spin factor so I don't hit a balloon? and leave it up there for the, I mean, there's a great meme out there of me, by the way, dunking one in a match with Zach, it was awesome mm -hmm. for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Well, first thing is, is that I take, I might take one more than I think I need mm -hmm. and really make a nice 80% full golf swing, but 80% of my effort, once again, speed is spin. So if you take away your speed, you take away the spin, so you take away the upshoot. Mm -hmm. And knowing that if we carry the water, we're not gonna have that penalty and this is why we work on our short game, is that if you know that if you carry the water, you have a good chance to get up and down for par, this becomes significantly less of a concern. Right. So to me, I'm gonna, this is an eight iron yardage. It's probably a seven iron. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna take the draw route mm -hmm. and I have the benefit because my long, my shot goes that goes right hole. is going to go with the hole right. where it goes against yours, right? right? So I'm, I have a little bit of an advantage here, but I'm hitting seven iron. I'm going to play just slightly left of the flag and be about 80% effort, draw it in there and hopefully have a good birdie putt. Choke down at all or anything like that and changing your setup? If the wind was blowing harder, I, I'd choke up on it. But okay. this is this is probably eight. Stock seven. This is probably a stock seven for me. Cool. All right. We're about to send it. Let's find out. So Verge is on the tee. He's got a seven. He's talked to us through his strategy. For the uh, the crowd watching, do you have a starting target that you're going for right now, or how do you find that starting target? Well, I, I, I know I have done everything I can to take away the, the hook out of my game. Mm -hmm. So it's harder for me to draw the golf ball than it was, say, 10 years ago. Sure. All right? So I see this drain in the, in the water here, yeah. which is basically just inside the left edge of the green. I like trying to find something a little closer to me but something I, because I like to spend a lot of my time looking out at the target. Yeah. I don't like looking down here. Sure. So I like looking up here. So I got this, the drain in the, uh, in the pond here. When I'm hitting a draw, I move the ball back slightly and I'll get the sensation that my club is closing down in this area. Yeah, For I your like slicer, if you're a slicer, this is a great feeling. Yeah. I feel like the club face is closing down. That's what I'm going with. So I got seven iron, 164, Aiming at the drain. And commit to the shot. Oh, and I can't do it better than that. Beauty. Be good today. Woo.
Bang. You know, I don't even know if I want to hit after that, honestly. <laughs> what do you got? What are you thinking? So I got the seven. I, I uh, If I hit seven really good, it's a 75 stick. Yeah. T top end 80. So I'm a little concerned of the back bunker if that wind dies on me. Yeah. So I'm going to choke down on it, but do everything else normal. Yeah. And just kind of save it that way. Got if it. it gets tossed up in the wind a little bit, a little spinach, I know we got 12, 13 yards toward the flag, and this thing's going to go 150. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Ever thought about a Tommy Fleetwood follow through? Which one? We're doing more like, of a... More of like a three-quarter hold off? Yeah, that's actually kind of what I had in mind. Yeah, I was getting ready to say this is a perfect... This is what I like to call these shots Fleetwoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except I turned it over hard. And uh, by the way, I got new sticks, ladies and gentlemen. So apparently that still goes 185 now. Yeah. <laughs> the wind, another thing that's happened, the wind has shifted from into us to now a little more down. So yeah. that changed right as he was getting ready to hit the shot. I almost you said see something. The, see the flag. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, wind is the worst variable that golfers have to face. Yeah. And that's what happens, which is why. Generally speaking, even though he didn't hit the green on yep. this shot, he's picked the right club to give himself an opportunity to get it up and down, and that's why we work on our short game. Yep. It's like the doctor for us. You know, when our golf swing is sick, that's what allows us to shoot low scores. Yep. So, hey, let's take it up to the green and see what we can do with it. All right, so I kind of put myself in a little bit of a pickle. I'm on a little bit of a down slope. Green runs away. What do you think? Well, I mean, once again, pick your trajectory. You thinking high or you higher. thinking medium, right? Higher. So if you're thinking higher, like flop shot high? Higher, maybe not like crazy high, but high. Okay, so you got down slope here. Yep. So I would probably say trajectory in this area. Yeah. Landing it right here. Okay. So coming down the slope, going to lean with it a touch. Lean with it, rock with it. Open your hips up. Yep. Set up a touch more open. Got my spot. Hit it a little too perfect. I mean, that just came off like. It just yeah, you just hit it amazingly perfect. Amazingly good. Yeah. <laughs> but so I have a putt for par. Virgil for birdie. Once again, I'm gonna play slightly less break than I have been. Left edge. I'm focusing on my speed. Oh, you went with the look at the hole approach. Yeah, I started looking at the hole about four years ago. Ah, man, I like it. It's amazing how much slower the greens are when you have grass. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love the way you're rolling it. That is yeah. so good. It uh, comes off good. Yeah, I've definitely it paced it well here lately. Yeah. Even with some dead grass along the way. <laughs>